this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage Omari Hartwick was spotted in Chicago. If you want more Power Book Force and Ghost updates, click the like and subscribe button. Now, Omari Hartwick was spotted in Chicago, aka Ghost. Now, what I'm trying to confirm, I'm trying to confirm with video proof that he's actually on a set of Force. Now, people's telling me he on a set of Force. A couple of people are saying that they seen him. I can't 100% confirm it yet, but the person who told me I don't think they lying listen if this person is lying they will be blocked and never able to get in touch with me again I promise y'all that but I had to bring y'all this news now another important thing Omari Hardwick took the time to post ghosts to his story Omari Hardwick haven't posted anything about ghosts since back in the 2000s when power ended and they went through that pay dispute now with the ratings of force what could this be now it could be a hallucination it could be that tommy is going through something and that ghost had to be there to hallucinate to him you know give him that star wars jedi may the force be with you no pun intended on the force part it could also be that ghost is telling him listen remember how you did it in new york with force you gotta you are you don't try to be me be yourself go out there and do what you do because to this point Tommy has been trying to be a boss. He's not a boss. He's an enforcer. He's somebody who put power down. He put pain. He put work in. So Ghost could be telling him that in a hallucination. Now, um, what I don't think but is a possibility, maybe like a 10% possibility, Ghost could be back and he could be in Chicago after faking his death like Tommy. And this could be the return of Ghost to the power universe just like Tommy faked his death and went on out to Chicago to get himself together. Now, with Omari posting to his IG story, the only thing I can think is that he got that bag. He got some type of money. And I think it's kind of weird, or I'll just say strange, that he posts the ghost montage from like a fan page to his actual page. But then after he do that, um, it's being reported that he was on the set of force. I don't know exactly what's happening with this. Yesterday, I had to edit the last part out of my video once it was already uploaded to YouTube because I had overlapping audio. But just for the update on OG Power, I am on season three, episode 10. I just got finished watching it. Ghost just got arrested and I'm going to start the next three seasons. Hopefully, I can have the next three seasons done within the next week by next Wednesday. So I'm sitting back. I'm taking a lot of time to uh, watch over these Easter eggs and breakdowns so I can give y'all a better understanding of what I think happened, some Easter eggs and what's going on forward. So if y'all want to donate to the channel, you can always hit that thanks button above or you could just cash at me. Now, the next thing you're going to see will be some of my other videos with my ghost theories that kind of just tie some of this in and that will possibly give you a better understanding of what's going on in the uh, power universe just in case y'all missed them. But they piggyback on ghosts being in the force universe and ghosts possibly not being dead. Salute to all the movie and TV cinema supporters. Welcome back to Power Book Multiverse and Cinema Show where you get the latest in Power Universe and Cinema Breakdown. James Ghost St. Patrick could be somewhere out here live in the Power Universe. It's a couple of theories I could break down and use, but we need to go no further than Kanan and Unique. So first of all, we look at the Kanan situation. Ghost and Kanan met inside a warehouse. They got into a fight. Ghost stabbed Kanan. Kanan was down. He ended up dropping a lighter and setting the warehouse on fire. Kanan was actually laying in the fire, and we saw Kanan's eyes looking at the fire as he was going out, um, about to pass out. And somehow he got the strength to get up. He went away, went to DC, and recovered. And then he came back. And when he came back, it's slim. Now, that's also a time where a 
person faked their death and came back as somebody else besides Unique, a.k.a. Breeze. That's proof that Unique is Breeze. But to stay on topic, then we got Unique. Uh, we saw Ronnie give Unique a brutal beating. And I was basically telling y'all the whole time, man, I don't think Unique is dead. Now, I won't lie. I did have a small window where I was like, you know what? Unique might be dead. He is dead. But then I actually started to think about like how Unique character was. And I started to think like, what would be the purpose of killing Unique character off right now? Unique is a fan favorite. And another thing is Unique bring in a huge woman audience, right? And so when Unique died, it was a lot of women. Well, when Unique was allegedly dead, it was a lot of women on Twitter saying, yo, I'm done with the show. It was a lot of women on Facebook saying I'm done with the show. So to me, I believe that Unique was breezed the entire time because I know how contracts work and um how the movie world work you might see something come out in 2024 and it may have been in the works since 2020 maybe even 2015 so i know if he signed a contract he knew exactly what he was getting into and his tour schedule reflect that he signed a long contract to play a significant role in raising canaan anyway we saw him get beat and we thought he was dead um, he went away. I believe he was with Stefano recovering. Um, he was able to get some wits about himself and he came back from the dead, essentially. Now, we also got Lauren. That's something simple y'all can remember. Power Book goes too. We saw Effie walk off into the night with her. We thought she was dead. Everybody thought she was dead. Guess what? She came back working with the feds. So, I personally believe if the powers that be can come to a conclusion with James St. Patrick or Mari Hardwick about a price that he feel is fair because of what he brings to the power universe, I 1000% believe that we can see ghosts come back in some capacity. He could be a voiceover, but I also think it's a, um, it's a situation where we can have him come back at the end of um, Power Book 2 and start a whole new uh political thing with him and so the political situation matter of fact i'm not even gonna give y'all my theory or my idea inside of this video i'll just um i'm gonna do another video man if y'all want to see the video where i talk about the ghost spinoff all y'all got to do is click the subscribe button turn on all y'all notifications and if you rock with this video click that like button um and share it share it on reddit share it on facebook everywhere and every so often i like to tell y'all who i am i am at f a i r p l a y underscore two three 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 so that's fair play 2333 and i'm on all platforms now i'm gonna do another video telling y'all how this ghost spinoff can work and so y'all gotta tune in for that Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts. It's out now, written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fair Play 2333. If you like this power book multiverse cinema breakdown and you're looking forward to more TV shows and movie breakdowns just like this, click the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell.